Oh, here we go. Oh, I am so excited for this. Since I finished Breaking Bad, I've done a rewatch, by the way, since I finished watching the whole series on my channel. And honestly, I love Jesse even more than I did. So I, I am so, okay, here he is. Here he is, the big boy. All right, mate, what are you doing? I'm gonna be so mad if he dies or gets put in prison. You know he's not gonna be happy. Who? No, I suspect he won't. Who this? Only you. Is that Mike? What's best for you, Jesse? Oh, yeah, it is. I'm out. Oh, is this a flashback? I'm not sure I should stick around town. That's a start. Oh, Mike. <sighs> Where'd you go? We're by the river as well. Alaska. Oh, is that why Alaska? Yeah, if I were your age, starting fresh. Alaska. Oh. Alaska. Huh. And there was me, thinking he was going there. He was like completely off the radar. Didn't want to hurt anybody, couldn't hurt anybody. And it was Mike. Put things right. No. Sorry, kid, that's the one thing you could never do. Mmm. Ah! Oh, okay. All right. Straight after the finale. Okay. Man, this is absolutely wild. I know this came out like three, four years ago. Dear Lord. Okay. Like Breaking Bad finishes and this just comes out of nowhere. That's insane. Nice, 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 nice. Good, 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 good. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. What up? You're apexing too early. You're apexing too early. I'm apexing at the apex, bitch. Don't be telling me how to drive <laughs> Man, it's been like a few weeks. I feel I've missed them. I've missed them all. Oh, they got some nice chairs. Fair play to them. Nice to see they spent a little bit of that money, you know? That's disrespectful. Hello, there he is. What are you gonna do, mate? This is the thing. With everything that happened to Andrea and everyone else, I feel like Jesse's in a place where he's like, I don't want to touch these boys again. They're just gonna get hurt. Maybe that's where he's at, but then again, yeah, he's got no one right now. Saul's gone. Saul's gone. His get out of jail free card is gone. He's got no money. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He's in such a bad state. Dude, you lost? Skip Pete. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Jesse? I gotta get that car off the street. All right, good. Mobilize the troops, I like it. Perfect. <laughs> All right, and there we go. That was El Camino. He gets off scot-free. Woo! No, hello and welcome. This is El Camino. I am going to be watching El Camino today. Oh, oh man, this has been a long time coming on my channel. If you're new to the channel, by the way, I've done the entirety of Breaking Bad on my channel. Every single episode is there to be watched uh, if you so please. I did also do a community Q&A where I do talk actually a little bit more about Jesse and my thoughts on Jesse. Um, I do go into why he's actually my favourite character in the Breaking Bad series, at least. I've also, and it probably is out by now. If it's not, it will be soon. Done. Uh, I've done a rewatch. Watch. I've done a rewatch in the time between this video and the finale I did a rewatch of the whole of Breaking Bad and I had a few extra thoughts and all that stuff And I also watched it alongside my partner who has never seen it before had never seen it before and it was their first time watch We shot a video we did we shot a video and it's up on my patron and um, I also do go into a little bit of my post rewatch thoughts uh, a lot in there about Jesse and how I feel about Jesse So I'm not gonna retread it here. That's in that video if you want to go see it It is behind a paywall so feel free you don't have to that's absolutely fine as well um, but it was very informal, just kind of more of, of a podcasty, talky type thing. So um, if that's your speed, link down below. If not, no worries. We're going to be watching El Camino today. I'm so excited, man. I'm going to be so mad. I'm going to be so, so mad if uh, Jesse uh, doesn't have a happy ending. God, he had such a horrible time in Breaking Bad, such a horrible time. And it only became more apparent to me how horrible he had it in that show on the rewatch as well. I think I was fighting his corner towards the end of Breaking Bad and I only got, I, I, that only got stronger on the rewatch, if you ask me. So a little bit more to my reasoning in that Patreon video. It's a long, long video, it's two and a half hours. So I, like, I hope you understand that I, I'm not gonna go over all that here. I am gonna focus on this movie right here. So um, yeah, yeah, those are my thoughts going into this movie. And without further ado, let's go. Yeah, dude, he needs to rest, man. When was the last time he had a good meal? Good night's sleep? It's the news. Oh, the news? Yeah, what is on the news? They're, well, they're looking for him, right? How would they know about Jesse, though? Is it true that a military-grade firearm was- Oh. Wait a minute, hang on, go back. Was that where Saul was? No? Was that where Gus was? Hmm. Are we gonna hear anything about Walter? Or are you just gonna focus on, on Jesse? Jesse, right? Is he a person of interest at this point? That's not too bad. So they're a person of interest and they may have information relevant to this case. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, I don't think this is the, I don't know if this is the movie for it, but I, I want to see a bit of Skyler, see how she's doing at a post Walter's death and you know, what Junior, but I guess we've put a close to that story, right? Oh, oh, he's seeing it. Bless, oh God, the trauma, the trauma. 
Like, whatever you think of Jesse, and he has done, he has done bad things, I'm not going to deny that, right? One bad thing, really, if we get down to it properly, passing the drugs around the, uh, the meeting. That's his big sin in the show, to me. Ooh, yeah, PTSD is strong, man. But like, yeah, say what you want about him. The thing that I feel like we can all agree on is that he didn't deserve captivity. He didn't, he didn't deserve enslavement. Not even close. That's, that's Jesse, you're sick. Like, this is sad. This is so sad. Oh, man, I just want to give him a hug. Yeah, this here's barely worn. Good? Good. These guys are at least being good friends, you know? I enjoy that. That's really nice, because I wasn't sure. They've not always been, necessarily. Feel free to open up a new bar of Irish Spring, whatever. It's underneath, you know, because the old one might have, like, hairs on it. <laughs> Yo, I got Axe Body Spray. Oh, this is sweet. This is Feel sweet. free to use any of them you want, you know? Use them all. Possession. It's Kenny Pete. Possession's the bomb, yo. I got it for him for Christmas. Oh, boys, boys, boys. Maybe don't, like, shave and whatnot. Be less recognizable. Hey, good advice. Do they really keep you in a cage? Yeah, bless him. They didn't know. They didn't know. And they're going to feel so bad. Is he just going to be like, no, to make him feel better? Or close the door? Close the door, yeah. Ooh. Oh, good. Finally, Jesse gets his shower scene. Hello. He's been initiated. There we are. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, come on. The, like, Breaking Bad was pain. It was just pain. And this movie seems to be carrying on that torch. Fair play to it, you know? God. I, I dread to think as well if we're going to get into the Andrea stuff, right? Because I realised something. Well, Jesse doesn't know that it was Walter that put the, the crew onto Andrea. He, he doesn't actually know that that was Walter who did that. So to his mind, all of that blame is on him and his connection to them. Do you know what I mean? So he's holding that himself. He can't put that blame on Walter, which, which is where it deserves to be. He's taking all of that on himself. Do you know what I mean? I wonder if we'll get into that. We've got to, surely. Oh, dude, why'd you... Looking sharp, yo. Oh, is he shaved? Looking sharp. Man, he looks so grizzled, doesn't he? Ooh. You got a burner you can give me? First... I gotta get rid of that car. Good. He's not giving up. He's still thinking. Nice. That gives me a bit of hope here, you know. Together, the two are responsible for the largest methamphetamine manufacturing operation in U.S. history. Man, they really did work out what was happening, though. Yeah, I know who this is. At this point, who doesn't? <laughs> that is the problem. Nice. Oh, this guy's so cool. I love him. What a fixer, isn't he? It's about the money if we can... Maybe... It's on the house. Oh, what a scene. Good kid. At least they can do. Oh, he's a good kid. Oh, Joe, you f***ing angel. You're an angel, sir. You're a scholar. You're a gent. Magnets! <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, it was. It was. I can tell you now, I had zero confidence that that would work. None what... <laughs> no, strictly precautionary. I was checking for a tracker, yeah? Whoa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on, Scarpa. You gotta go quick, man. I mean, what's El Camino? Is that where he ends up? Is that where he's going? Yo, what are you doing? We gotta get this thing out of here. Bent, give me the keys to your Fiero. Oh, buddy. Are they helping still? Amazing. You take my car. I don't even like your car. <laughs> it's not about that badger. Mexico? No, not Mexico. Right on, even better. Leave it near the border. You take Badger's Fiero. Hello? I'll tell him you dropped by, the two of us smoked a fat bowl. Oh. Oh, these boys, man. I always wanted me an El Camino. Oh, it's the car. Sorry, not a car guy. Whatever I've ever said about these boys not being good friends, they're making it up. They're making it up. They are. Fair play to them. I take it back. Hold up. Have I ever seen his hair? Keep you from getting spotted. I've never seen this man's hair. Have I? Have I? Have you? Have we? We haven't. This is very weird for me. Why are you doing all this? You're my hero and sh Oh. Why? Sorry, I don't mean to be mean, but like, <laughs> I mean, I guess in their world, right? Drug lord, big deal. Man, you can't get spotted, dude. Oh. Ooh. Not one of them looked out of the window. That's police work, that, innit? Hank, they are not. Keep it cool, boy, keep it cool. 
Oh, man. It's kind of appropriate that the movie is focusing on his trauma and the PTSD that he has. I mean, you know, focusing very much on this experience, I suppose. But if you go back and watch Breaking Bad, the whole show is just traumatizing for Jesse. The whole way through, he's manipulated, he's blackmailed by Walter in episode one, by the way. Like, this whole trip starts because he doesn't... Jesse doesn't say yes, by the way, to Walter. He doesn't. In episode one, season one, he doesn't say yes. If it was up to Jesse, he would never have gone down this path. Walter blackmails him. And then from there, it's manipulation 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 and god he goes through the ringer so hard i like that they haven't just if they were going to do a movie about jesse after it all i'm glad they're focusing on this i'm not because it's painful and i don't like it but i do like it because that's so appropriate and i like that they're not pushing that aside you want a cigarette i don't need to see todd again by the way film just so you know just, just putting a good word in do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's weird, isn't it? The way that Todd is showing him these small kindnesses is kind of worse. It's like, is he a slave or isn't he? Are you treating him like sh or are you not? Decide. It, that, that kind of back and forth of like, none of this is okay. Stop trying to make it okay. It, it f with your head more, I feel. But I do think it's gonna be a beautiful afternoon. Yeah, which he can enjoy from the comfort of his cage. We're all alone. Oh no, what? Yeah. Um. Just you and me the whole weekend. Um, I don't like this at all. I'd really like your help with something. L are you gonna ask for help with Lydia? Are you serious, mate? Good behavior, right? God, I don't really talk about Todd in my uh, coverage of Breaking Bad, but he's so twisted. He's even worse and like even scarier because I do think he doesn't see himself as a bad person. He sees himself as a normal person and I think he means everything he says. He just doesn't have the same emotional response that most people do, right? I think that I think the term sociopath is, is kind of outdated now, right? I don't know what the right word is, but that's what I would say, right? I feel like he's absolutely a sociopath and he doesn't see himself as bad. I think what he just said to Jesse, if you asked him or, you know, had a little bit of a glimpse into his mind right there, I think he, I think he would say, yeah, I'm being kind right now. I'm being like, please don't do anything. I honestly don't want to hurt you. And I think he's being truthful. But that's the thing. If Jesse does misbehave or whatever, Todd would absolutely, he would do the worst thing in the world and he wouldn't think anything of it. You know what I mean? And that's kind of scarier. I think He's the only like villain in the show that has that effect about him. Everyone else is more overtly a villain. Whereas I don't think Todd means to be, he just is. And obviously, you know, he's been brought up under the wing of Jack and, and the gang and everything. So he, he didn't stand a chance, right? Their ways absolutely got themselves inside of him that made him into this. And I do think it's almost scarier for that. It's definitely nastier for that. Draw too much attention. Oh, Todd, Todd. Todd. I'm gonna do a better job of keeping you clean from now on, okay? Wow, like he's his dog, isn't it? And he would be a horrible dog owner, I'm just putting it to you, right? Amazing tarantula owner, apparently. That doesn't make me trust you, mate. Oh, Holly, 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 Holly. Good job. Wow. Yeah, that little pat, the body language, the way he did that, he really sees Jesse as little more than a pet. The infantilization that Todd has for Jesse, that's so twisted. So is that what you... It up with. And again, it's worse. This captivity part of it. And like we, we've, we're seeing now that Jesse had little bouts outside. This is worse. It's one thing to be trapped in a cage and that's horrible. That absolutely is. But like to almost taste freedom and have it cl this close. It's, it's so cruel. The subject of a six month international manhunt. Yeah, so he was captive for six months. Okay. A gang massacre which claimed the lives of nine people. They're not. Who cares? God, this is so sad. This whole ordeal. This, 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 like, this film's an ordeal. Honestly, it's very sad. I appreciate all of these callbacks and seeing these characters again. I really, really do. Like, I really do. It's so weird. The effect that it's having on me, that this film is having on me, is so ah conflicting. I'm happy. I'm seeing Jesse again. I'm seeing Badger. I'm seeing Skinny Pete. I'm hearing whisperings of the aftermath of Breaking Bad and Walter and Heisenberg. Right? Of Lydia. We're seeing Todd in flashbacks and all this stuff. And it just it stokes the flames. I think in the audience of like oh that show that was so brilliant that i loved so much for what it did right and these characters that you grow alongside and see go to these places dark places good places happy places sad places all of these places that just connect you to them right and so i have that and i feel that and i'm and i'm enjoying it but like oh man i'm seeing this person and this aftermath of this event for Lena that is so terrible and everyone is pained by it and in pain and running and being pursued. All of these characters, it's all come down. 
it's all come down and all of these things that were so familiar are gone, right? We've got Saul gone, Mike gone. We had that little little pepper of him at the beginning as well, right? To remind you of that. And he's gone, right? It's all these reminders of what we've lost, what's gone, what happened, all these bad things that have, have happened, the trauma now that we are dealing with with Jesse. So I'm like, and I feel bad, I feel horrible. It, it feels painful. And that's such an interesting, all of what I've just described is such an interesting feeling of <laughs> to, to have, to have and to hold, to love and to cherish. I do. do. Do you say, sorry, we're not getting married. That was weird. But it is, that's what's happening in me right now. And God, to cultivate that kind of thing and to put me in that place right now is just a testament to that show and where we are. And I'm like, how, how, where do we go? What, would, what do we do? Right now I'm, I'm sat here and I'm like, I just want Jesse to get out. Forget moralizing Jesse's character. Forget whether you think he deserves it or not. I just like, to a certain extent, I want a kernel of good to come out of it all. I want to be a bit happy. I want to. I want to have some semblance of a happy ending for Breaking Bad. And that is. And and so that's where I'm coming at from this as well. I wonder if Jesse's going to uh, be too risky. I was going to say checking on Skylar. By the way, on the rewatch, very briefly, Anna Gunn is such a standout in this show. She's such a brilliant actor. I call her out in the final episode for that scene in the kitchen, but honestly, re-watching and really just paying attention, she's so subtle. She communicates so much without any dialogue. She's such an amazing actor. Like, I didn't really big her up enough while I was watching the show, but... Mm. Come on, dude. Oh my God, the tension, the tension. <laughs> Nice, nice. Oh my goodness, sir. That was close. Uh, he's just always being nosy. It wasn't Vietnam, which I totally respect, but still. <laughs> Don't try and have feelings, Todd. It feels weird. You need to help you paint? Maybe, yeah. Right, what's going on? Oh, Duh. Are they just salt and pepper shakers? I feel like that. I feel like that's just his tone, dude. <laughs> Oh. Oh, what did he do? Okay. I thought it was the grenades on the table. That was way better than this. It made me feel worse than I already do. This is what I mean. And I believe him. I believe that he feels bad, but it just doesn't affect him in the way that it would affect everyone, like most other people. That's what makes him so twisted, so scary, so villainous. Man, it makes like, don't get me wrong, that moment where Jesse kills Todd at the end of Breaking Bad was satisfying on its own, but like with all this added stuff, I feel like it hits even harder. Unroll it. Gonna need this. Oh my God. You'd keep that? Of course he would. Of course he would. Are we going to see the tarantula, by the way? Please not. Please no. Puts it on. Of course he does. Twisted little sh**. Now we just gotta wait for... You've been wandering around with no belt this whole day. Have you not got two belts, Todd? Of course he's not. He's a psychopath. What did she do to you? What? Oh, she you really think... Yeah, he didn't... Yeah. Do anything to me. That is an assumption and a half, Jesse. <laughs> Why? Right. This is what I mean. This is what I mean. To Jesse, there has to be a reason why you would do that. And in Todd's world, there doesn't. Uncle Jack taught me always keep my money close. Encyclopedias. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's here for the money. Nice, 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 nice. Like Jesse. Sorry, in the, in the present. So your cleaning lady was stealing your money? What? No. She was as honest as the day is long. Of course she was, yeah. Yeah. But she found it and she found out. She found it. And... Right. She actually thought I didn't know it was there. So you could have gone along with that. She barely spoke any English. Like you're, you're using a metal spoon with that pan, Todd. Do you know what I mean? There's like peppered throughout his life, throughout everything I'm seeing of him. He's such a psychopath. You're gonna scratch it, mate. You're gonna scratch it. Admittedly, this is not the, the worst of his sins. There's a dead body in this room in this scene. That's fair. That's absolutely fair. I don't know why I'm picking hairs out of this, <laughs> but it bothers me. Oh! Yeah, I knew it was coming. I knew. I can't even. T I can't even bring myself to be like squash it. I can't. Like the spider didn't do anything to you. I just. Ah, I just go live somewhere else. That's what I'm saying. I mean, it is. It's in. A t it's in my TV. It's not near me, but it's still bothered. Right. It doesn't make sense. Okay. It's not rational. Oh sh. Oh man. It's a good idea though, dude. Oh. Oh. Soup's not that hard to make, by the way. Why would you do that to yourself? They got these things called banks. <laughs> Could you imagine if it was the first time Todd had ever heard of one? That'd be a twist. Man, did they keep the secret that they were filming this, like, genuinely secret the whole time? Because that's kind of insane. Oh, he's feeding it all. Oh, you're too good, Jesse. You're too good. 
Oh, the fridge shot, iconic. Iconic, man. You can't do a Breaking Bad project without a fridge shot, man. Mm, I love that you checked under there because that's where he kept. He, it's, it's where he kept the drugs all that time ago. Oh, his parents. Oh, f them. F them. Man, my, my impressions did not improve upon the rewatch. I will tell you right now on those two people. They can go suck a massive bag of dick. Oh, don't. Don't do this to yourself, Jesse. It's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. They're not going to be saying nice things. When was the last time you saw him? It was way before the harvest. <laughs> they annoy me so much. They annoy me so much. Like, something that hit me on the rewatch so hard was how much money they have. Like, Jesse comes from money, right? And it's like, it's just because he wasn't traditionally intelligent, right? He didn't uh, perform well at school. It's been pointed out to me that he probably has ADHD as well, right? Which, you know, doesn't help things in a school environment either. And it's so telling. I remember in the rewatch, like, watching, and I, th I think it's Jake, his, his little brother. It's so toxic. You know these guys are bad parents especially like there's a lot of reasons right but like jake said to jesse the the way that they doted on jake and the way that they were with him and he was getting every kind of nurturing kind of feeling and import that these two had and in amongst all that jake still got the impression that jesse was the favorite son even though they treated jesse like dirt on their boot right i could go into this in more detail and i do over in the video that i've talked about a few times but like and i'm not gonna the only reason like honestly i could talk for like hours about it and we need to get on with the movie uh, i hope you appreciate it. <laughs> but god i hate them i hate these two so much they're the worst they are the worst they're bad people they're bad parents straight up they made him homeless they have money they didn't have to do that they didn't get him any kind of help or help him with the weed or whatever else. by the way complete complete overreaction did i say i wasn't going to talk about this i am the complete overreaction about the weed first of all second of all the only help that i think they gave him was like come to church and we'll we'll, we'll pray out of him and like okay fine great thanks and then past that they put no effort in no effort in at all they didn't do the the good thing that parents should do and like oh, okay so you're struggling at school you're not you know you're not, you're not applying yourself walter uh, let's sit down and figure out what it is you want to do because we've seen, we've had demonstrated to us throughout the show that when Jesse does actually find something he's interested in and applies himself to it, he becomes the best at that thing, right? We've literally seen that, you know? I think I think he becomes, he does a cook that's uh, like 96%, which is a little below Walter's, but still phenomenal, still phenomenal. Within like a few months of cooking with Walter, something like that. And that's insane. That's insane, man. You don't just get there with good teaching. You don't. You have to be a good student and you need to have that within you somewhere, right? And they didn't help him in any way, shape or form. They just didn't. They just pushed him aside and were like, see you later. Bye. You're not our problem anymore. The worst. The worst, man. Was way before August. Yeah, when you could have done something to help him. Come forward. Too many people have... Of what? For your sake, for everybody's sake. No. Turn yourself in. No. Absolute cretins. I hate them. I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, what a basic bit answer as well. Like, come in, turn yourself. Shut the f up. Now, boys, is this the best plan? Okay. <coughs> the little he's the worst. <laughs> Living his best life, isn't he? Did they not honk? They didn't honk. <laughs> So that was that that's comedy gold. That's so amazing. He doesn't care. He doesn't he's like eh. That's so amazing. Holy sh Oh my god. What a what an image, what a scene. I like how they've got like as many references as possible into Breaking Bad, right? You know, out in the desert, digging a hole, dead body. Even telling their own story, this original story, after the fact, they're still referencing and calling back and all that stuff. Of course, Jesse's doing the grunt work, okay, sure. You wanna say a few words? Like this, like this. Yeah, that look. That's the look, yeah. <laughs> nice lady. Excellent housekeeper. This guy. 
Done? Is that all you had? Yeah, all right. Do you want to pat her on the head too? Like someone said in a comment, I don't get what the, something like, I don't get why people give Todd a hard time. And like, I kind of, I really hope it was sarcasm. Okay. On the way home, I was gonna get us some pizza. Oh, great. Well, you're a stand-up guy, mate. Large pies. Makes it all better. Maybe a six pack of beer. That does sound nice though. I, I'd be, I'd be, yeah, to be fair, I'd be such a bad prisoner because I'd be like, oh, f okay, there you go. You earned it today. You such a good boy. Oh, come here. You're not a dog, Todd. Jesse, what kind of pizza? <laughs> Pepperoni. Pepperoni. Oh, sure. Man. He's so broken at this point, isn't he? Oh, man. You know what Rank calls me as well? You know, there's that scene in Breaking Bad where Todd's talking to Jack and the other guy, Stachio, and he's talking about the train robbery and giving Walter all these, all this accolade, this huge accolade for it, and, like, making him the big man. And Todd does see him as the big man. Jess, that was Jess's idea. It's so weird to me how Todd has this impression of... I mean, I get it because, you know, Walter's this older guy, right? And he, and he naturally earns that respect because he is that kind of person, right? He is that aesthetically that kind of person that you would if you were kind of Todd and very simple, right? You would look up to because he ticks all the boxes. Commanding, old, demands respect. I was thinking in hindsight, I was like, oh, fair enough, Todd just didn't know that it was Jesse's idea. But it, during that scene uh, in the in the train heist, because Todd's asking about it and Walter literally goes, well, Jesse, it's your idea, you tell him. And Jesse tells, so Todd knew. Todd was told it was Jesse's idea. And so I don't get, like, to a certain extent, I sorry, I do, because I've just explained why I get why he gives Walter the, the accolade and the respect as opposed to Jesse. But that also unearths this weird villainy and lack of awareness and just wrongness with Todd is that he can't even see like out of that duo because Walter and Jesse were presented as these two partners, right? The bosses along with Mike and Todd just never gave Jesse the same prestige. And so it's so weird that he, he sees Jesse this way when it's like, fuck you man, he deserves that respect too. More so, honestly, in a lot of respects to Walter. Mm. Look at that view. Should be a heck of a sunset. Man, what a cool landscape though. By the way, sorry, just to agree with Todd for a little bit. <laughs> Gotta shake up the barrel a little bit, do you know what I mean? We can't be one note. Hmm, damn, what a cool shot. Part of me's like, what are you doing, man? But then I'm like, yeah, he doesn't have it. Like I said before, he has no money. He can run, but for how long will he get away without money? You know, who's gonna help him? No one's, no one's left to help him. And that's what it'd take, right? Because I mean, he goes to someone and asks for help and it's the wrong person. They just enslave him in some way again. Come on, boy, come on. You are, you're clever. He's so clever. He can get himself out of this. I don't know how, but I have faith in him. Oh, come on, yes. What is it, where is it? The fridge? Hello. Yes, good. Good, okay, okay. I'm starting to see a way out. Now I'm paranoid, okay. Oh God, he's just found it, are you serious? Oh, is that all there was in there, dude? Man. man, he can't hurt anybody. He can't, he can't, he can't take that anymore. Oh God, that is not. Okay, that is the worst. Those are the worst people to have possibly come across this place. Well, I'm Louis Shancer. I live across the hall. Oh, Louis, what a gem. Perfect. Oh, take it easy. You too. Mm -hmm. Done a little investigating myself. Of course you have. All right, Louis, doing the good work. They tossed the sh out of this place. What's left to find? <laughs> right, what's the reaction, buddy? Hey, little guy. Been fed. Is he gonna notice that? Okay. Mm. <laughs> oh, Todd. Oh, Todd. Oh, man. I'm no cop killer. Yeah, he's really not. Be cool. I hate that it's come to this, man. Oh, they're gonna be put on his trail. The whole car situation is gonna. It's gone. It's gone. God damn it. Call your partner with your casual. Very casual. Hey, Lieutenant. He said Lieutenant, not his name. I don't like that. Yeah, that sounds like that sounds like a call to me. Yeah, yeah, that's a call. Come on, come on. You find something? <laughs> come on. Mm. You point yours at me, I point mine at you. That's how this works. Mm. You know how many officers we got downstairs? Lies. Oh, they're coming up. 
They're coming up guaranteed. Oh, they're playing it good though. There's only one choice here, buddy. Oh, I, I really don't want him to kill any of them though, just because it will do horrible things to Jesse and we know that he doesn't want to. God, he's between a rock and a hard place, isn't he? Okay, okay. You two aren't cops. Oh, no. Oh, God damn it, man. Come on. Yes. Take the finger off. Gollum, he's out, mate. You know where the money is. Right, that's what they're after, yeah. Hmm. Lewis, are you going to come through again, buddy? Sometimes you want something done right. Oh, God, tell me about it, my... <laughs> we all We all know a, a Lewis, don't we? God damn it. Taking my half. Little man with big dreams. Oh, he knows you're not cops now, dude. Don't test Jesse right now. He knows you're not a cop, man. I will shoot you and do it already. Yeah, Jesse's got a death wish, man. I don't get this money. Yeah, I am yeah. dead anyway. Yeah, huh? yeah. He's got nothing. We're gonna have to kill that loudmouth down the hall and every other witness. Nice, smart, good. I'll be as as I. Perfect, clever boy, awesome. So. Yeah. What's it gonna be? There it is. There's the grit, the steel that kept him alive as long as it did. Yeah. Good out of his face, boy. Yeah, you don't know who you're messing with, man. He's been through a lot. I got the money. <laughs> Keep him talking for the next five minutes. Since I got the Britta, not a problem. <laughs> you got balls, I'll give you that. Oh, he does, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where? Oh, has he seen him before? Was he at the place? I was wondering when you were going to remember me. Oh, wait. From what? From the cage? Did he make the cage? What a creep. Hey, at least you got the money. That's a lot. That's something. Yeah, where are we going now, mate? Okay, vacuums. Oh, he's tracked down the guy. How did he do that? Oh, he knew the he knew the code that Saul gave him on the back of the card, the uh, the vacuum thing. There was a vacuum line. Sorry, he was he was crossing off vacuum places, and he recognizes the car that drove past. Okay, oh, oh clever man! What a clever man! Oh come on! Oh Jesse, Jesse! Oh, that's so good. I love that so much because that's the that's the next thing he needed to disappear. Whether this guy is gonna let him and do the job. I don't know, because I think if he did, game over, film over, he's got away, right? That's not going to go, it's not going to go that way, I feel. But damn, damn, yeah, that little nugget of information, and he kept it, and he used it. Man, I, honestly, I maintain, and I think I said this during the show, Jesse's one of the smartest, one of the cleverest people in the show, honestly. Yes, I agree, it's very expensive. Oh, good to see him back. Be with you in a minute. Look around a bit, Jesse. Like, don't, don't come in suspicious. Until good. I take a good okay. look at it. I want you to promise you won't try to bring it in by yourself. Get that help. Oh, very nice. I just don't know why they can't make things to last anymore. Right. Capitalism, mate. Gotta buy a new one. You don't need to buy any more. There's no more money. Hmm. What a great system, though. If there's any questions I can answer, just let me know. Hmm. Doesn't recognize Jesse. Or he did, and he's playing it cool. Man in his line of work. Gotta, play, gotta be good at playing it cool, right? Jesse. I'm open for business. Yeah, he knows who he is. Hoover Max. Pressure Max, Max Pressure. I'm trying to remember the line. Hoover products are right over there on the wall behind you. Hang on, do Americans call it Hoover? Because I'm like, this feels very at home for me. Like, we call it Hoover's over here, but you call it a vacuum. Since when do people call it a Hoover over there? Sorry, I approve, but just saying. Sorry, he said Hoover and I was like, that felt weird. <laughs> I've never heard it in that accent. 125,000. You know why I'm here? I can't say I do, no. Damn it, damn it, damn it. This is the thing, Saul said you get one chance and that's it. And this guy's so good, he's so professional, we've seen that. <sighs> Alright, let's see how it plays out. You're the guy. You gotta pull on some heartstrings, Jesse. 96% sure that you are the guy. So <laughs> 96, that number again, Hey. I didn't go with you that day, and I'm sorry. Mm. Look, you will never know how sorry. Oh yeah. God, if he'd have just gone that day, if he'd have just gone that day. So please, okay? Come on, man. He's not gonna budge. I don't think he will. Oh, he's, he, he's, he's hedging a you little bit. You owe me for that first pickup. Yes! Oh, you're the guy! <laughs> Wait, what? Yes. This. Yeah, you don't have the money. Is previously owed. You didn't do anything, though, dude. Going forward, were we to? 
would require an additional one. Dude, dude, you didn't do any work. I get that you risked yourself, right? I get it. You drove a car anonymously, I guess, more or less, past a place. Four. I don't think he's got enough. He's not got enough. That's so harsh, dude. You didn't do anything. He didn't pay for your... So uh, 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 he's the older generation, so he's, he's a stickler on these things. But, like, that's unfair, dude. Oh, Jesse. Oh, Jesse. He would have had enough if only those two guys hadn't come. Has he got 122,000? 23. Am I arithmetic? Seriously? Seriously? Oh, come on. Come on. I don't like this guy anymore. No, no, no. Hmm? From where? What? It's that's not ten thousand though, dude. <sighs> Come on. He's two hundred. He's so close. Come on. Yeah, I borrowed it. Dude, you have lost my respect for this. This is not an inconsequential amount of money. Yeah. Spend it wisely, it will last you for years. This guy. With a little luck, you will soon find yourself yes. many miles. You have lost all my respect, mate. Over a measly eighteen hundred. I've got to reopen. F it threaten him, Jesse. Oh, but he's good. He wouldn't get caught, I bet. They have kept me in a concrete hole. Oh, man. So if you I... believe that you can pull on people's ah. strings, you should take your chances with the police. You, come on. From where I sit, you made your own luck. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He didn't make his own luck at all. Deal's a deal. He had it taken away from him again and again and again and again by everybody. I I'm not taking that, buddy. Actively, by people. Oh, you scum. What are you doing? I mean, he's in this world, right? Hi, yes. He is essentially, I mean, he's a criminal, right? He's in this world. There's a young man in my store. I don't even care that he didn't identify Jesse in this call. I don't care. My name is Ed Galbraith. But yeah, he's a criminal. He's in this world, he's cutthroat. Jesse, just hit him over the head with a bag, like as hard as you can, and then leave. You didn't call anybody just now. You faked it. You got as much to lose as I do. Ah. Uh, when your cops get here. Ah, uh, no, I think he did call them, to be fair, though. You don't just hang up on a 911 call. They won't let you. The lady or dude or whoever is like, stay in the line with me, sir. Oh, stay okay, maybe he's got something. And if you did hang up, they'd call you back immediately. Pathetic. Okay. Wow, you love that response time. That's an insane response time. No police has ever been that quick. What are you talking about? Oh man, that's so backwards. I, I'm so annoyed that like $1,800 short and he was like, no, thank you, sir. Off you go, peasant. Can you describe him? Very tall guy, 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. I don't care. He had a tattoo over his right eyebrow. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Like, I'm so sorry. I'm sure a lot of people were like, oh, good on you, sir. A good Samaritan. Well done. Like, no, 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 no. French. No. Absolutely not, sir. No, I am not giving you a pass for this. You haven't earned my respect back. Absolutely no, no way. I'm so mad. I cannot eloquate. I'm just saying the same word over and over again. You tell I can't eloquate my feelings right now. <laughs> Deal's a deal. Your word is your bond. Yeah, you're going to come back with 1800. It is. I'll get you your money. And by the way, if anyone's in the comments like, oh yeah, no, but he he, he did. If he had the money, he was going to break his rule and he was going to take him anyway, even though his rule was that if you don't take it when he comes, he drives away. And it's like, no, don't comment that. Don't do it. Don't, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Okay. 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 <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so mad at this guy. Man, I want Jesse to get out so bad. So bad. Is this Skyler? No. Oh, okay. <gasps> is he gonna appeal? They've got the money. Oh, no. Oh, man. This is gonna incense me, isn't it? This conversation. They're not gonna give him it, but they have it. They have it. You know they have it. It's Jesse. I don't need this in my life. I don't. Yeah, it's me. If they knew anything about what had happened to him, as a result of them and their parenting and where they sent him, essentially, they're culpable. They're culpable for that. They would be horrified. They should be horrified with themselves and their conduct. We've been better. Oh, you've been better. You're in a really lovely house and you're absolutely fine. Shut the f up. Jake's on a band trip to London, thank God. Yeah, he of course he is. I heard you saying that I should turn myself in. Yes, it's the right thing to do. Is it? 
Oh, have you tried? F off. Quit running and get some help. Get some help. But not from us, by the way. Just so you know, just to be clear, by the way, Jesse, not from us. No one is trying to hurt you, son. Better you come forward on your own. No one's trying to hurt you, clueless little fool. Do you think you guys could come get me, maybe? They're gonna bring police, dude. Probably too late to say this. You did your best. Oh, no, they didn't. Whatever happened with me. No, they didn't. That demonstrates he's doing that. He's doing that because he's an angel. And within everything that happened, he's such a good kid. He's such a good kid, despite everything and, and all of the things that he's had to deal with. He wouldn't have got into this world as right. So people, this is something that people have brought up, and I'll address it because it's stupid. Is that oh Tyler? He was already cooking meth and he was doing this thing. And it's like stop it, stop it. Because pre one one season one episode one, that place that he was in was not comparable to the place that he got in when Walter got involved and the path that he got taken down, right? All along that journey, he got manipulated. Jesse had to do the hardest things at all times. Everything got put onto him. Walt needed things done and he was like, you do it. You do the dirty work. You get your guys to do the drugs and all that stuff. You're the distribution. You do all that stuff, right? I just cook and I get to be safe. And like all the time you saw these shots of Jesse having the worst time and it panned to Walt and he was in his family home. His family was fine. He had his family, right? Yeah, things weren't going perfect, whatever. But he had his family. He had his food. Food was in the fridge, right? It always, always those fridge shots. There was a, an amazing juxtaposition of like the fridge uh, from Jesse's house at the beginning and there was, it was bare there was like a beer in it uh, like the cheese the bread the sandwich that he made for Domingo you know that Walter made for Domingo and then there was another shot in Walt's house and it's just fresh and vibrant and colorful and full right and it's like all the time you see this and it's like again you see Jesse having to go to the meth head's house having to lay down the law he is not that person he's a good kid he's constantly constantly put into this position of the druggie the drug addict I don't think he was I think Jane's inclusion in the show showed us that he wasn't I think when you talk about Jane and Jesse they're two different animals they absolutely are and by the way let's just address that really really quick there's an argument to be made that uh, Jesse brought Jane into that world again and made her relapse let's not forget that at the time he was in a very emotional state combo had just been killed he was trying to deal with that he, he just wasn't in a place to deal with it at all he did actually say in that conversation you should leave and jane pressed right and i get it i get it she's an addict it's difficult i absolutely get it but he was like you should leave i'm gonna smoke you should go you should go you should go and he could have been stronger about it he could have pushed he could have but he he wasn't in the emotional state to be able to do that he just wasn't he was reading he was having a really really hard time on his own he just dealt with the death of his friend. He was in a bad position, really fractious emotional state. And I don't honestly put a lot of that on Jesse. I really don't. And actually after my rewatch, I'm like, no, Walter killed Jane. He did. If Walter hadn't come in, she would have, she, she made sure that she was safe. I'm not pretending that drug addiction is, is not a serious thing. It absolutely is. Jane was absolutely having a bad time and, and that was not a path that leads to good things, right? But in that moment, contextually, and what happened during that scene, she'd put herself onto her side. She'd made sure she was okay. And Walter being there took all of that away. He's the one that killed her actively i don't think he ever sees it that way even in like the last episode or not the last episode ozymandias where he says to jesse he comes clean and tells him he doesn't say i killed jane he says i saw her die that's a very different line that is a line that does not take any culp culpability he never actually admits to killing her because i don't think he ever thinks of himself as having killed her but he did he did he absolutely did that's not on Jesse. That's not on Jesse. And it was always, always Walter who kept Jesse around for his own ego because I, it's something that I came to realize and something my partner helped me realize as well, that part of the reason that he kept Jesse around and loved Jesse so much, part of Walter's motivation was because he needed someone around in the room that he perceived to be less clever than him. It's why I think he didn't take the gray matter deal at the beginning, which by the way, would have solved all of his problems. And he had several opportunities to take that after he got deep into the meth business, right? I actually feel really much more harshly uh, towards Walt after the rewatch, a uh, little fun fact, I guess. But I think that was a prime motivation and it's why he, t he chose to teach at high school as well because in that space, he was the cleverest person and he got to be the cleverest person. He got to lord that over everybody, even in that life before Heisenberg, right? He got to live his own Heisenberg in that way, right? And appeal to that ego that he had. Anyway, 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 sorry, I am talking a lot, but Jesse, is so good and that line he's absorbing his parents guilt 
any guilt they might have, and they don't feel enough. They don't feel enough, but I, he's absolutely, because he's a good kid. He's absolutely doing that because he's a good kid. And he's like, I don't want these people. Because he does, he sees himself as the bad guy all the time. And it's like, dude, you were, you, were, you were manipulated. You were always given the worst things to do. You never wanted this. You were blackmailed, manipulated, all of this stuff. And everything in the show, and I've made the q and I talked a lot about it in the Q&A and why I think it. I talked about it in my Patreon video and why I think it as well. But he's such a gentle, good kid. And he's been pushed down this path. And actually when you put it all on the table and examine it all, he had very little choice of where to go. And he actually had very little choice of getting out of it when he was deep into it. Even when he had the money to get out of it, I don't think he was in an emotional state to get out of it. I really, really don't. Um, like I say, I put this on video on my Patreon. Um, if you're that curious, go go watch it. Um, please, don't, please don't feel like I'm pushing you behind a paywall because I'm really, really not. But um, I just don't want to repeat myself. And again, two and a half hour video. I can't put that in this video. I've talked long enough already. But like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for going on. But like, dear Lord, this incenses me. These guys deserve to feel the guilt because they should feel the guilt. They absolutely should. And it would be so easy for them to write a check and actually do the good thing and just let him have that 1800 and just get him out and get him a new life, which is what he should have after all that he's been through. The oh, This is what I think, and I, I said it earlier in this movie, the only bad thing that I really, did, like he messed up and he, and he, he the, the sin is his own, is when he tried to sell drugs to the meeting and the, and the people trying to recover, the addicts that were trying to recover. That was bad, that's undoubt, I can't argue that. There's no way I can argue that. That was a bad thing that he did, absolutely. No getting around that. I'm never going to defend that, right? Other than that, he's such a victim in the show. He's such a victim. Even before the show, everything we know about him is that he didn't receive any nurturing. The only nurturing he got was from his aunt. The only person who gave him that, right? We saw that episode with his little brother. I'm so sorry, I'm going on so long. We saw in that episode with his little brother how differently his little brother was getting treated because he excelled in the way you're supposed to. And Jesse never did. Jesse never excelled in the way you're supposed to, right? And that's why he was treated differently. Not because he wouldn't excel, not that he couldn't excel. We've seen that he can. We've seen that he can with the proper nurturing and they didn't give that to him. And he's being so kind. He's being so kind. And that just proves once more, and there are so many examples that he's such a good person at heart. Without all of this stuff, say that he's done all this bad stuff, that's fine, but it's it's been su it's such a different reaction that he has compared to Walter in that he feels bad about it. I know Walter feels bad about it as well, but he tries to justify it. Jesse never tries to justify it. He is, he's always like, I'm the bad guy. And he feels bad and you can tell it tortures him. You can tell it tortures him. I'm so sorry. I am so, so sorry. I'm gonna carry on the film now. Uh, <laughs> okay. Amazing. Well, obviously. Maybe he's just trying to get him out of the house. Cause he, uh, sorry, Jesse got rid of his phone. There we go. All right, all right, we're on board. Yeah, 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 he's just trying to get him out of the house. Good, good, he just had to say what he had to do, not to alienate them and get them out. Okay, I like that better. I do still think there was a bit of truth to what he was saying and that he was trying to take off the guilt from them. Truthfully, I think there was an, an, a kernel of truth in there too. Yeah, he just needs 1800. I don't feel like they're the kind of people who would keep cash around the house though. Oh. That is a huge moment, actually. Sorry, yeah, we're gonna examine that a little bit. His dad left the tap on. That, that says a lot. That actually kind of gives me the impression that they do. There is, I mean, look, there, there is parents. Like, okay, I ranted, that's fair. And I'm gonna try and keep this brief because I think that's my one rant of this whole video. <laughs> but the reason and the fact I feel like that they lingered on that and showed that he'd left the tap on showed that there is some genuine care for his son in that moment. You know, something so simple like that. He was washing the dishes and his mum was like, it's Jesse, it's Jesse. And his dad didn't give the time to fully turn it off. He was like, okay, but uh, go, go. Jesse, Je are, you okay? are you okay? What's going on? You know what I mean? And I think it, it, it's meant to show that there is some care from their perspective. As much as it's unimportant at this point, as much as it's not doing anything at this point, I don't know, there's a little bit of something in there that I think is quite nice. Um, and I think they translated all that just by that little bit with the tat, which is nice. I don't forgive them, but it's, it's nice. Yeah, they rushed out quick, and I think he saw that too. Clever kid at the end of the day, you know? It's his birthday. Yeah, of course. Wow, well that's helpful for him. Wow, okay. Is that all they had? Ah, oh, he's going back to the welding thing. Okay, so that's coming into it. Mm. 
get the money off them. Yeah, okay. Okay. Hey. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice that this film... Uh, being what it is and being something so, I don't know, out of the blue and, you know, all of these callbacks and dealing with Jesse. It's, I think, in amongst that, it would be almost hard or, I, you know what I mean? I, I don't think it necessarily even needs to be to be a film in its own right. Do you know what I mean? And to, to tell a story and have things call back and all this stuff within the film itself. Because this candy welding uh, company is a thing that's been introduced specifically in El Camino. And now we're calling back specifically and going back specifically to that. Sorry, I'm just seeing themes and, and the structure of this film being very similar to just a just an average film as opposed to... Because I feel like the conception of this film is very like, okay, sequel that's kind of a prequel that's answering some questions about Jesse, but also paying homage to some things that happen in Breaking Bad and being kind of like a, a little bit of a museum piece almost to Breaking Bad in a way. Do you know what I'm saying? And so it's like you don't necessarily even need to make this film be a film. If, if, if that makes any kind of sense in the traditional sense of like, okay, tell a good story, right? You just need to hit the right points and hit that nostalgia beat that is going to make people go like, oh, I like this. This is good, which I think it's doing as well. But I don't think it necessarily has to be a film. It's all right. And I think this candy wel welding company is, is it's a small little insert but it just shows that it is a bit of a film in its own right as well. It is introducing stuff and there was a reason for that and it's going back and it's going, you know, and amongst all the, the museum piece of it and, and the callbacks and all that stuff and the meta thing of like, yeah, it's a Breaking Bad film, it, that it, it's El Camino and El Camino stands apart as well, you know, which is nice, which is nice. They didn't have to do that, but they are doing that and I appreciate that. I don't like that he took those guns, that's you know. Because I, I feel like that's absolutely the film telling me he's going to have to shoot somebody. To, sign. to be fair though, what did this guy do? We didn't find out. I got you. Okay, go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, and I like it as well. That we're finding out what this little flashback was. Oh, my life. Excuse me. Oh, just waiting for you in this oh, little oh, Well. Yeah, dream big, boys, eh? I, I do hate that the people that find money, like, so often just don't know how to spend it. I'm so sorry, that's a very snobbish thing to say. <laughs> I accept that, that's fair. But it's like strippers, seriously. Be a little bit more original, please. Yeah, did he make the cage? I had a fish plate up here. Oh, the, the, the pulley system that he had. Just, we have a, uh... Oh, the flashback was him, uh testing it out, right? Was it this guy testing it out and be like, look what it can do. I don't care how wiry he is. I'm knock himself out. Wow, no empathy at all there, huh? You put your money where your mouth is? I like it, because I feel like the film's seeing this guy up to die, and I'm doing a good job in uh, justifying why he should die. Oh, oh man. Hey. Oh, that look. It adds, a, it adds so much context to why he's kind of gentle on Walt. I do think he's, to, to a certain extent, really gentle on Walt when Walt comes in, but it really makes sense. Ad seeing this added context and seeing it happen, this is so awful. So awful. And the place that he's in, like, you don't quite appreciate it without seeing this stuff, right? Because you don't see any of this stuff. You don't see the, the stuff with Todd and going to his place and helping him and, you know, the day-to-day -day stuff. Meanwhile, Walt is in his cabin. Oh, he's lonely. Okay, fine, sure. This is punishment. This is punishment. What Walter had to do, cushy. But that's the that's the representation all the way through the show. Walter always gets as much hardship as he thinks he goes through, and, and, and fine, you know, sometimes it's hard, right? Fine, sure. But when you compare it to Jesse, and we can, because we're the audience and we're outside of it, Walt has it so much better every single time, mostly. I think there's one point in the show where Walt has it worse. I can't remember when it was, but we did identify when it was. I, I'm so sorry, I can't remember. But um, one time. You know what I mean? And so it, it kind of does make sense a little bit more to me why. Because I think, I think uh, watching Fel Felina, I was like, I enjoyed it. And I, th I thought it was the perfect ending, honestly, for what we got as a show. I guess there's a little, there was a little niggle in me that Walter got off a little easy. And Jesse let him off a little bit easy to a certain extent. But I think considering what I'm seeing now and Walter coming in, Walter must have been such a balm. Do you know what I mean? This essence of familiar, as awful as Walt had been and, and what he'd done and the fact that he was the reason Jesse was here. When Jesse came in and he saw Walter in that room and then what happened afterwards, any human would be thankful to be released from this. So that was absolutely what was riding, I feel like, at the forefront for the most part in Jesse's mind. And there's that nod of like, yeah, okay, this is goodbye. Thanks for all the good times. That kind of nod. And I and I love the context that this is, the additional context this is giving that makes that make a little more sense. 
Oh, the beetle. Sorry, there's such a wonderful moment in the show where Jesse sees the beetle. And again, that's such a demonstration of how kind he is, how gentle he is it in his soul, in his heart. Because, sorry, there's a, there's an episode where there's a beetle and Jesse squats down and he's like, and he reaches out a hand to help it. And he's like, oh, a little beetle. And Skinny Pete comes along and stamps it. And I do feel that moment is meant to demonstrate the kindness and the kind of person that Jesse is at heart. And that all of these things that he's going through and the path that he's on are as a result of the people around him and the lack of care, of nurturing, of help, of support. Because I don't think, honestly, he's had that for a very long time. I mean, the two examples that come to mind are his aunt and the teacher during the box stuff, when he made the box. I think those are possibly the only two moments. But sorry, sorry, such a good callback with the Beatle, considering what that moment meant in the show. I'd be okay. I would be okay with you killing all of these guys, Jesse, to be fair. Wow, he just walks in, huh? Interesting. I need more money. Main guy's gotta die. Come on. That three-way split didn't quite cover it for me. The fact that he comes in and he doesn't start shooting and he tries to negotiate first and appeal to them first, again, just shows every single time the strength of character, the person that he is. Shut up means everybody. Okay. Yeah, let's talk, buddy. How exactly do you plan on pulling this off? I mean, being that there's five Ooh, of us. One of very them. Walter. Very Walter. Walter did that all the time. If someone came in and did something or had a plan, he did it with Skylar. He did it with Jesse as well. He was like, okay, tell me, walk me through it. How do you plan on doing that? Exactly. Exactly. How do you plan on doing that? It's very Walter. Oh, that's going to trigger him. Maybe. I'm not here to rob you. Wow, and that shows he's got power over Walt now. That little subtle thing there, that that didn't get to him. Visually, like, he didn't react. He was like, I'm not here to rock. He was just being honest. He was just being himself. He's found himself again, I feel. He's got so much control over that. I think that last line, it's nice because, you know, a film like this has a lot of uh, potential to almost ruin uh, maybe something that they've uh, ended with and finished with in Felina, right? But I think that stays true to Felina. That line that he says in regard to Walt, of like, do it yourself, that lets Walt go. And that moment just there proves that he has. All I need is 1800, masking as a... Yeah, small money. Favorite. Oh what, like charity? Yeah. Casey, seriously shut up. 1800. Yeah, huh? This guy knows what they did to him. Also knows, and he said it himself, Jesse's got balls. He knows what Jesse's gonna do, could do. Not an even two grand. 1800's all I need. God, is that a 22? Just shoot him, Jesse. I think it was my grandfather's. Jesse's very calm, very casual. 1800. Yeah, look at him. I'm gone forever. And I feel like that makes him dangerous. Yeah, we saw this dynamic right at that first scene as well. In the way that Redhead behaved and how he kind of got a little shook by it. And how this guy immediately clocked it, was calm, and then came out and he was like, what's waiting for me back there? I swear to God, Vince, Vince's uh, characterization is so strong and so constant of, of, of the characters that he writes. What do you say? You're 22 against my 45. Man. Like the Wild West. Jesse's got to. Oh, Jesse's God. legitimately got to do this. And like to Jesse at this point, he's gonna die. If he doesn't get it, he's gonna die anyway. Shut the f*** up. Yeah, this guy's not blinking. All right, they are on. This is going. You ready? Isn't that uh, where Jesse put his gun? Isn't that where Walter put it at first? Wow, really doing a shootout, huh? Oh! <laughs> Good boy! Yes, mate, well done. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. I love that so much, though. In the pocket. In the pocket. He's learned to deal with these guys, man. Good, Jesse. Good. I tell you what, through that whole thing, he was calm. Jesse was so calm. Okay, not so much anymore. That's fair. Hey, the money's all yours, dude. Yeah. That's your get out of jail free card. Driver's license, do it! Yes. I got kids. Like, I give a sh. <laughs> I know where you live. Nice. You tell the cops about me? Nice. Damn, he's doing a Walter. Uh, sorry, this makes me think of the scene in Felina when he went to Elliot and Gretchen and threatened them with the lasers, right? And it was very fake, and I think this is very fake. He's not. He's, his whole plan is to get out of here and never come back and disappear. He's looking to put Jesse Pinkman in the ground. Absolutely get rid of him. 
And it just, sorry, it just speaks to me of that moment that Walter did. It's interesting, you know, the parallel that I see with them both. But even so, Jesse doesn't feel like the bad guy. Dude, you're on fire. <laughs> I mean, I'm not being funny, like at a base level, that was just cool. That was a cool move, Jesse. Well done, mate. Also the parallel that, you know, Jesse is kind of doing what Walt did in a way. Not the same, but like he's going through this gang, right? Breaking Bad was very much Walter's end, right? Not Jesse's. El Camino is very much Jesse's end. You know, his finale. It's nice. Mmm. Okay. A different time. Walter? No way. No way. Hello, Brian. Okay. Oh, I was, do you know what I needed? To, I don't think I said it actually. I was like, oh, I really wish, I really hope Brian's in this. I just didn't think he was going to be. This is worth more than a thousand words. Just seeing them back together again, isn't it? Oh my God. Oh, the RV. Oh, the RV. Oh, the bullet holes, dude. This is so early. Oh, oh, this is so early. Oh, before everything. Oh, I didn't think Breaking yes. Back would break me anymore. Oh, the cough. Stop it. Stop it, you dirty whore. Leave the picture, will you? <laughs> Sorry, I can't really do that. Why? <laughs> oh, nice. I love that. I love how Aaron just embraced. Here was Sinatra. I know, right? <laughs> Early Jesse. Certainly went big with the pineapple. I love that Brian came back for this. Well, you know doesn't like pineapple. I could take it or leave it. Pineapple's amazing, by the way. I won't hear anything about it. Pineapple's good for you. It's got bromine. Bromelain. Close. Oh, what we're doing is thing again, eh? It's not close at all. <laughs> really, eat something. No, I'm, I'm eating. I'll, I'll eat. Gotta eat, gotta hydrate. Oh, this is how they were. This is how... Oh, my God. Come on. I love this and hate this. Oh, this feels so much like early Breaking right. Bad, I, man. I, I, but it's new. It's new. Do you know what I mean? It's like that period of time, but it's new stuff between... Oh, I love it. Oh, I love the Brian. I just... Sorry, it's such a small thing, but I love the Brian said yes. I love that they were like, hey, do you want to come back? And it's like any actor you would absolutely respect who's gone through that role, played that role, you'd absolutely respect if he was like, no, I'm done with it. There's so many examples of actors doing that with characters, and I think that's absolutely fair. And I think if Brian had said that, absolutely fair. No one would say anything against him. But I just, I love that he said yes. He didn't have to. He didn't have to at all, but he did, and I love that. How long will it take to sell this batch? Six months. No one that you can think of who might buy the entire amount. Yeah, it was always Walter pushing, 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 pushing. Jesse would have taken the six months. Walter was always like, I need the money now. Your family is gonna get every dime they got coming to them, no matter how long it takes. Yeah, Jesse would have done that, man. I drink. Seriously. Look at him, and he knows from his aunt what Walter needs. He got up and patted his back. He's like, water, mate, just drink it, come on. He's such a good kid. After this, what then? Wouldn't that have been nice if he had an option? What is stopping you from going to college? Say you went to college. What would you study, you think? Huh? What interests you? I just, hey, 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 stop it, stop it, show. It's not a show, it's a film, Tyler. <sighs> this is what I said before. This has been all my complaints that Jesse never had someone being like, it, it, I'm so, this is insane because I literally verbalized this whole thing. And I verbalized this in my patron talk as well. And it's been what I've been thinking about since my rewatch is that no one has ever, his parents were, should have been the ones to do this. No one has ever, ever sat down with him. You know, identified that he doesn't necessarily take to the traditional way of school and education. And that's okay. That's not a bad thing. So many people think it's a bad thing and treat it as a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. No one sat him down and was like, what do you think you could do? No one said that, no one did that. No one took the time. And I said that in this video, I've said that in this video and it's so painful and I hate that Walter was the one to do it. Considering how I feel about Walter and I do feel very negatively, much more negatively on my rewatch about Walter than I did. You know, as he started talking, I was like, I don't care, Walter. I don't care, because I don't think I don't think college is the right thing for Jesse. I really don't think it is. But that's the thing, I mean, I think I'm coming from a very English back background and I think in America I think going to college is very it, there's, there's it's much more important I mean you can correct me if I'm wrong I think I think for example like in uh, in England the equivalent obviously is going to university and I think maybe five to ten years ago it was the whole thing if you went to university you had to go to university it was a big deal uh, you still have that disparity between people going to university not going to university and there being this divide uh, I think the divides closed a little bit I don't think you have to go at least in this country you don't have to go to university anymore to be successful uh, uh, to own a business to earn money you know um, 
I think you can have apprenticeships and, 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 all that, and all that stuff in this country. I don't know. I don't know if it's changed in America in the years since, for example. So I, I'm not going to speak. I'm not an expert on it. But I guess from my perspective, if he was an English person, I'd be like, oh, university doesn't seem like the right fit for Jesse. I feel, you know, I'd be like more an apprenticeship. I, sorry. So I started it like that and being so skeptical and be like, Walter, no, stop it. You've been unhealthy. Stop pushing. But then he was like, he, he, he approached it in a very open way which I appreciate because it was this thing that I've been calling for and the thing that Jesse's always been lacking and has been lacking in the show is someone sitting him down and being like, this isn't working for you. You're clearly struggling. You, we're putting a lot of pressure on you. You're turning to weed. Okay, what can we do to change that? What can we do to help you? What can we do that's going to help you through this? Where do you want to go? What do you want to study? What do you want to do? I don't think anyone's ever done that and I think Walter has and that's huge. What interests you? What interests you? That's the question. Sports medicine? Right. Yeah, sorry. It's the follow-up of what interests you that makes that so special. I don't think Jesse's got that kind of care and nurturing for a long time. Oh, I hate that they put it in here with Walter. It makes me feel a little bit softer, a little bit warmer towards Walter, and I close my heart off to him. <laughs> That's, yeah, sure. That's... All right, let's judge you. Let's judge you, Walter. Business. Walter. Business no. and marketing. Walter. You could practically teach that class. I mean, that's tr Hey. It'd be a natural. I get where he's coming from. The business degree? I mean, that's handy. We're getting a, to see a little bit more of the father-son relationship that we kind of got little hints of, but not like a lot of. It's kind of nice. Uh, you could do it too. I think he could do it. I think he could do it, but that's not the point. I don't think he'd enjoy it. And I think it comes back to this thing of like, I think he does have ADHD. And if you don't enjoy it, it doesn't matter if you'd be good at it, right? Like if you don't enjoy it, you wouldn't, you just wouldn't apply yourself. He just wouldn't. He said sports medicine he should do sports medicine absolutely while walter is showing this nice side this nurturing side that is genuinely really nice i do think he misunderstands jesse which i think is the failing of him throughout the show what do i need a ged for i got my diploma oh you were standing right on stage when they handed it to me it just slipped my mind <laughs> i totally graduated high school <laughs> larger point being there it is and there it is that's that's the thing Walter doesn't remember, but I just don't think Walter associates cleverness with this person before him. And I think he does. I think he misunderstands Jesse for a lot of the show. You're really lucky, you know? Oh, no! No! Walter White is possibly the luckiest person in any show ever. Rewatch the show and actually pay attention. So I'm not saying that you haven't done this, by the way, you probably have. But like, I, can, I realize this can sound condescending, but I really don't mean it that way. Pay And pay attention to how many times Walter gets out of something because of pure luck. Pure luck. So often. So often. Jesse's the most unluckiest person in the world, while Walter is the golden boy of luck. It's since, oh, I hate that line. So, oh, mm, okay, you've redressed the balance, Walter. Thank you. Appreciate that. Good, we're back on board. Oh, but again, shows this misunderstanding from Walt's perspective and this lack of awareness. You didn't have to wait your whole life to do something special. Wow, and it's this is so special, Walter. Yeah, yeah. Going out in an RV and cooking meth. Yeah, the pinnacle. Just because it's the pinnacle for you does not mean it's the pinnacle for Jesse. And that's so characteristic of him. He's so self-absorbed. He's seeing Jesse through a lens of himself. Is he getting out? Is he getting out? Please. Alaska? Oh, I hate you though. Mmm, get out of here. Get out of here. Well, don't. Like, like, finish your job first. Like, get Jesse out of it. But after that, get out of here. You do not deserve all his money. But, you know, at this point, I'm like, bottom line, if Jesse gets out, Fine. Did Jesse take all of their cash or did he take 1800? Because I imagine he might have just taken 1800, but he should have taken all of it. He deserves a good life, man. Just get the get out. Just get out. Post off that money. Live the life you want, please. I need it. I need it. I need Jesse to have it. Jesse needs it. I need it. We all need it, please. This is Alaska. A good. Okay, he's got a bag. He's got a bag. 40 miles in that direction gets you to Haynes. That's a long way. Are you gonna give him a bit more of a lift? Like what, what? It's quiet. Good. Yeah. Figured you could use some of that. For real. And you knew that and you didn't. Mm, okay, sorry. I'm not gonna go back to that place. All right. Dick. Date of birth, 6 10 84. Mother's maiden name, Zach Hassel. Father's date of birth, 2 7 51. I love this. And he's nailed it. Claims adjuster, dairy land yeah, insurance. Yeah, because it's important and he's applied himself. What's your social security number? 1418. There you go. 941. I love it. Backward. One four nine six eight one. <laughs> He's the cleverest.
person in this show and that scene there and him testing him it's a test that's a test plain and simple and i do feel like and look this is my interpretation this is my opinion fair enough whatever my interpretation of that is vince the writer the showrunners they're all being like this is how clever this kid is and i think we've seen it all the way through breaking bad all the way through Breaking Bad. We've seen these things, like they plant these things so early, honestly, if you're paying attention and you're looking out for it. And like, don't get me wrong, I didn't catch it all on my first go through, but I think I've seen a lot as well on my second go through and then maybe I'll go for a third one. And like his education, like the scene before with Walter and talking about that is all of the things I'm speculating about and talking about and like, like yeah, the nurture thing and blah, blah, blah. The only reason, it, it makes me look good, right, in this video. And, and, I, and I wanna take that, I do, right, you know me. I do, okay? But like, the reason that I'm right about it is because this stuff in this show, they're very, very good. The writers are very, very good. This stuff's on purpose. And I do truly believe that the scene before this with Walter was trying to show you that that's all Jesse needed, was nurturing, was someone to sit down. And I think Walter in that conversation got it wrong and it showed you that he got it wrong, right? It ended with him being like, oh, the larger point, I oh, came close. I don't know what the larger point is. But if he'd have had someone, I think that scene was trying to tell you that if he had had someone there that sat him down, his parents should have been those people, they weren't, being like, what interests you? I think, I think people in life do have that. I don't think everyone has that. I think everyone should have that. But Jesse didn't grow up in the upbringing he should have had. If he'd have had that, he'd have been fine. And I think this shows here, and there's so many more, you know, examples. Again, this is a test. This is showing you how clever this guy is. We saw that in a few months, he kind of mastered in a lot of way, in a way that like most people at the top of their field wouldn't have mastered cooking meth. Just from studying under Walton, applying himself. Not everyone can do that. Not everyone in their, in that field could do that. I mean, okay, fine, 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 fine. What was very, very good if, if someone in that field had tutored under Walt, fine. Jesse wasn't that. Jesse wasn't a professional. He was just a kid. He had the steps, he had the founder, the building blocks there, right? Because he was doing his own thing before that, chili powder, all that stuff, right? But like, all of this stuff just shows you how clever this guy is. And he was just lacking. And the, sorry, the one-two punch of the Walt scene and this scene just show you that, they show you that, they show you that. And that's my opinion, and I will always fight it because I think I'm right. And if you disagree with me, that's fine. But that's where I come down on it. And I do honestly think the writers are clever enough that they are trying to tell you this with these scenes. And the only reason that these scenes are composed in this way together, one after the other, is to demonstrate that. Because that's writing. Mm, 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 mm. What's this letter? Seal this up, please. Green. The envelope's green. Sorry, in my video on Patreon, I talk about colour. Good luck, Mr. Driscoll. Oh, good. Good, oh, good, oh, thank you, thank you for giving me this one ray of light in all of this darkness. I do feel like it's an appendage to the show, but I do feel like this is what it needed. Brock, yeah. Oh, I'm so glad, I'm so happy. Oh, thank you, thank you so much for this. Were people mad at this? Sorry, I saw some comments that made me think that the reset, oh, oh, oh. And I get it from a, oh. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Thing you said about the universe. Oh. Going where the universe takes you, right on. I was being metaphorical. It's a terrible philosophy. It's better to make those decisions for yourself. Yeah, was the reception to this film bad? I get it if it's from a perspective of like, yeah, it's pain, it's pain. It's just Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad's pain. It's great, it's amazing, it's phenomenal, but it's pain. Oh. Oh, that's what I needed. Thank you. Thank you. Good. This is perfect. That is the best written ending for Jesse that he possibly could have written. Easily. 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 Good. Yeah, good. Thank the Lord. God, I love this film. God, I don't. I mean, this is the thing. This is the thing. What's your measure for, you know, judging something as a good film? Because once upon a time, honestly, and this is true, I honestly saw a piece of media as good if it made me feel something, right? Like, that's the point. That's the point. And from going by that logic, then this is amazing, right? Because it did. It made me feel so much. It made me feel anger, sadness, pain, nostalgia, warmth happiness right it was lovely seeing brian back as walt it was lovely seeing walt as much as i and i think it was really clever by the way that they showed a walt from er like early days right he hadn't done as much and i think you know from an audience coming from felina and that version of walter that's important and i think they thought about that right i think that's very on purpose because it it gives the audience an in to feel good about walt 
again. It's like, oh, Walter before he got there. And I, so I think that was really clever. I think that was beautiful. I think that was lovely. I think that was... This film made me feel so much. And, and more importantly, and I think I said this very... At the beginning, I, all I wanted from this film was for Jesse to get out of it, to get a happy ending, to get his happy ending. And he did, and I loved that. And I f love this film for that. If you want more context to that, if this isn't enough and you want a little bit more, I personally feel like I've got everything on camera about Jesse that I want to. Um, I think, uh, you know, everything in the show and everything in the Q&A and everything in my Patreon video and everything in this, I think, I, I think I've said everything that I want to say about Jesse. Yeah. Out of all the darkness of Breaking Bad, it's lovely that we have got this little bit of light. I love the note that this leaves Breaking Bad on. Walter's journey ended it started with Breaking Bad, ended with Breaking Bad. I think that was very much his story, his start, middle, finish. And I think it's really nice that they took the time to tell us Jesse's as well. And to actually show us this young man's journey and this painful journey, this traumatic journey, this horrible journey that he's not in, a, in large part responsible for. This, this lovely kid who could have been so much different, so much... I don't want to say more because that does a disservice to who he is and I think he's so much good and it gives him a, a happy ending and I I love that and there's only so many ways that I can say that so I'll stop there thank you so much for watching that was El Camino a Breaking Bad movie those are my thoughts thank you so much for my patrons by the way um, you guys are making such a huge difference I can tell you right now my patrons are genuinely helping to keep this channel alive and give me the room and the space to do that so um, genuinely from the bottom of my heart thank you Thank you so much for your support. Thank you, of course, to everyone who watched this video. Please, if you like this, do think about subscribing, commenting, uh, liking, all of that stuff, one of them maybe. Thank you again, and I will see you very, very soon.